Hi boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Mr. Peck here. So today we are going to learn about forces, Newton's law of motion. Okay, so here's the first question. Let us read the question together. What is the minimum force required to pull a 100 gram crate car up an inclined plane elevated at 30 degrees if the coefficient of friction between the car and the plane is 0 0.3. Okay, so, okay, when we do chapter 4 questions, remember, we must start off with drawing a free body diagram. Uh, we must first draw a free body diagram to show all the forces acting on that object. Okay, uh, so here's our free body diagram. Uh, we have the object on an inclined plane. And you see, uh, the object here, we represent by a point mass. For chapter 4 forces, all the object is represented by one point. Okay? By one point. And all the forces must originate from that one point. You see, all the external force, the normal force, the friction, the weight, all come from the finger point. Okay? You must use a point mass to represent the object. So, um, okay, so we have, uh, okay, what information is given? So, as here, it gives you the mass of the car. So, this is the mass of the car, angle 30 degree, coefficient of friction, coefficient, not the friction, uh, coefficient, uh, 0 0.3. So, coefficient is not the friction, uh, coefficient is mu. Uh, this is mu k. Okay? So he asked us what is the minimum force required. So he asked for the external force. Okay. So how to do the question? So first of all, uh, what what forces acting on the object? We have the external force to pull up to pull up the object. Uh, this is the force we want to find. We have the normal force which is perpendicular to the surface. Okay. And because the object is moving up the plane, velocity going up, so the friction is opposite the velocity. Uh, friction is down the plane because opposed the motion. Friction opposed the motion. Friction down the plane. And also the weight is directly downward because of gravity. Okay, weight di downward. And you can see I draw a dotted line here. This is the x axis and this is the y axis. Okay. And the plane is 30 degree. 30 degree. So when this plane is 30 degree, this angle also 30 degree. It's like that. Okay? Uh, when this angle is 30 degree, this angle also 30 degree. Alright. So uh, all the forces all must come from one point only. Yeah? Use a point mass to represent the object. Uh, so now, uh, we want to find the F. The minimum force to pull up the object. Uh, okay. When you see, yeah, for free body diagram, first, the first thing is you must resolve the forces into X and Y component. Okay, X and Y component. So you see, uh, only the mg, the weight, has angle 30 degree. So only the mg need to resolve into X and Y component. Okay, so we resolve. We, okay, it has the uh, x component. Okay, it has the x component. So the x component is downward. So what's the uh, what is the value? Uh, so okay, it has the x and y component. So for the y component, it is mg uh, cos thirty because adjacent to the angle. Adjacent to the angle use cos thirty. Uh, when uh, this one, the x1, is the x component is opposite the angle. So, mg sine, mg sine 30. Okay? mg sine 30. And one more thing you need to do is uh, the direction. Going to the right is positive. Going to the left, negative. Going up, positive. Going downward, negative. Uh, you need to put the sign. Okay? Now, uh, he asked to find the minimum force to pull up. So, we want to find F. Uh, F is in the X component. 
So what we can say is, to be able to pull up the object up the plane, the force to the right need to be equal or bigger than the force to the left. Isn't it? In order to pull up the object up the plane, the force to the right, force to the right must be bigger than force to the left. Uh, bigger or equal to force to the left. Force to the right must be bigger or equal to force to the left to be able to pull up. Uh, but since he asked for the minimum force, minimum force to pull up the object, so we just say the force to the right, F, equal. Uh, equal because we want only the minimum force. So force must be equal to the force to the left. The left force to the left is the friction plus mg sine 30. Okay? F equal to friction plus mg sine 30. Uh, the minimum force in order to pull up. Okay? Uh, we only want the minimum. So we use the equal uh, instead of bigger than. Right? We use the equal. Alright, so here we have to find the friction first. We don't have the friction. We only have the coefficient. We want to find the friction. Friction downward. Uh, so the formula for friction is um, mu kn. Okay, mu kn. So we only have the mu, which is 0 0.3. Mu has no unit. Okay, so how to find... Uh, okay, normal force. We need to find the normal force. So how to find the normal force? Normal force is in the y component. Uh, it's in the y component. So we look at the y component. Okay. So for the y component, the total force is also zero. Uh, let us do it now. For y component, the total Fy is equal to zero because no acceleration. Okay. So uh, going up is normal force uh, positive. And uh, going down is mg cos 30. Uh, mg cos 30. Uh, negative. Negative. So we have a negative mg cos 30. Uh, so any other forces? No, we only have the normal force and mg cos 30. So that's it. Uh, so n minus mg cos 30 equal to 0. Uh, so what is normal force? Normal force is mg cos 30. Uh, put in the value, we have the mass, uh, 100 kilogram. We have the 100 kilogram. G itself is 9.81. Uh, make sure the G is, uh, the G is positive value. Huh? The G, the G is uh, positive 9.81, huh? not negative. Huh? Uh, not negative. Only, the, only in chapter 2, last time we learned A is negative G. Uh, yeah, for chapter 2 only, the acceleration we have negative g, but uh, actually the g itself is positive value. Don't put a negative sign here, okay? Good, let's continue. So we have a uh, cos 30. Uh, so multiply, we got the normal force 849.571 Newton. Uh, that's our normal force. We got the normal force for our friction. So now we can find the friction, all right? We can find the friction. So just substitute the value. Uh, mu k is 0 0.3. Our normal force we got just now is 849.571. 849.571. And we get uh, 24, sorry, 254.871. Uh, that's our friction. Okay? Good. Now, we can find our external force to pull up the object. Okay, so how to find? So, for X component, there's no acceleration also. Yeah? No acceleration uh, because force to the right equal to force to the left. So, since force to the right equal to force to the left, we can also say total Fx equal to zero. No, ex no resultant force because force to the right equal to force to the left. Uh, force to the right is a uh, positive F. Force to the left is negative, uh, negative friction, and then force uh, negative mg sine uh, thirty uh, equal to zero. Okay, uh, force 
uh, force to the right, positive, force to the left, negative. So that's why we got, uh, then the friction at mg sin 30, we transfer to the right. We have positive fk and mg sin 30. Uh, we see that? Same as this one. Force to the right equal to force to the left. Uh, the minimum force to pull up the object. Okay? Uh, so we can find the minimum force. Uh, put in the friction we got just now. Friction we got just now is 254.871. And then the mg sin 30. Mg sin 30. Uh, put in the mass. Put in the mass which is 100 kilogram. Uh, 9.81. The g value. And then the sin 30. Uh, sin 30. And finally we got the minimum force to pull up the object. Which is. 745.37 Newton. Uh, correct to two decimal place. Uh, the final answer always we correct to two decimal place. So that's the answer. That's the minimum force required. Alright? Uh, okay? Uh, that's it. Yeah, very simple. Okay? So see you in the next question. Bye!